We are going to dispense soft white finished silk, size 20 liters. So on our window, the Lago tint, there's the first button on the far left. That is the search recipe. Click it once, it will, it will bring a pop-up. From the pop-up, we'll go to the BS4800, where the soft, where software is picked from. On the window below, there is the categories of na number, name, the fan deck, remark, and updated. So we'll head up to the name, click in soft, and on, on this side, this is where we pick the size of the, the rather the finish, which is silk. There it is, click it once. On the far right, there is these buttons. Select the middle one with the binoculars. It will head, will head up this side, where there's a pop-up with the size of the container we need. Select 20 liters, since that's what we're tinting. And then on the far left, there is a sign of the traffic lights. Click it once. It will bring you to this page, where we have the formulation, the base, and the finish. So right now we are taking pastel base, silk 20 liters. That is the formulation. Once we are done with our selection, we head up to selecting, to picking the base. As per what is displayed on the screen, which was pastel silk 20 liters. Ensure it's the right size and the right base. So right now we're having pastel base. That is what was being displayed on the screen. I'm, I'm going to show you on how to open it. That is the right way of, of opening the lid. After that, we have to position the tray from the hummingbird. That is the machine we're using right now. It should be on the last tray. That way. To ensure that the bucket, bucket is on the right position, those four red dots must be in the center of the bucket to show that all the colorants will target the center of the bucket and none will drop out. Back to the screen, to the Lago Tint software, we'll press the second button, that is Dispense, or rather F2. Make sure to confirm that all the colorants have dropped inside our bucket, and that's how it's done. So once the dispensing is done, correctly remove your bucket, and should be very, very careful. Now we, take, we turn back our lid. Make sure you close it tightly. Head back to Lago Tint. You'll see this pop up. So for, it, for you to print a sticker, you'll have to press OK on the pop up. The sticker will be printed automatically. So you just tear it off. You'll peel it off and stick it on top of the pastel base so because now it's not a base no, anymore it's soft white so the next shade we've picked it's super gloss geranium in four liters so we're going to po position the tray and remember if you position the tray lower the machine won't sense and you won't see the red lights for example we position it around there it won't reach the sensors so if you try to dispense, nothing will happen. So try to ensure that you've got the right position for the size. So we'll open out in. There we have it. Super gloss. Ensure the red lights are targeted in the center of the tin. After we positioned our tin, we head back to our software that is Lago Tint. Click on research. Our fan deck is still BS4800. Head to the name. Key in geranium. Pick on the finish, which is super gloss. Head to the binoculars and click. Choose the size of the tin, which is four liters. There we have it, geranium. That is the, those are the components. We have F, T, and RN. The base is ascent and you can see it's super glues. So we head back to dispense. So on that, 
there is a notification on the screen, which means we have less of RN, that is HP red, on the system. We have to add some of the colorants in order for us to continue. Now on adding the colorant, we head up to this side of the machine. On, on the top side, there is a lid. When you open that, you'll see all the canisters in the machine. When adding colorants, make sure you don't shake it. There's, it's advisable to stir, because when you shake, it forms bubbles on those air bubbles, which leads to inaccurate volume when dispensed. So I'm just going to show you how you can stir. This is how you stir it gently. Check for if there's any foreign materials. You can see right now it's very smooth. There's no clogging. Ensure you add the, the right color to the right canister. So this is RN. Ensure you always close the lid. Because when left open, the machine won't operate. So one canister is equivalent to 1,000 mm. That is what we're going to key in on that slot, 1,000. Press on add, and you are done. The next thing, the machine will automatically pick and will head up to dispensing the colorants needed. So we are done with the first colorant, that is F. We head up to the next one. You can see it being dispensed. We are almost done with the rain. The bar is now full. We head up to the last colorant. Fix back the lid. Make sure it's tight. We'll head up to our screen. Minimize the color expert. We'll get the pop-up. Click on OK. And the details will automatically appear on the printer. Peel off your sticker and cover up the base.